Yeah, I thought I could. Uh, I thought I could just leave it without doing, without doing the test. But I need to know. I need to know what's going to happen if I put this on. Is it just going to go? Bloody fair. Is it just going to go pop? So we're going to get ourselves some wire. Connect that to the ground one there. Connect that to one of the sides. Just I always make sure that the connection is going over nicely. And I'll pop that to the side there so it can be seen. And I'm going to leave the fan on. Uh, but we're going to need the voltage because they're going to bump it to law. Uh, it's going to be positive, isn't it? Yeah. Put it on there. Did I get a connection? That's what I did, but I pulled it out there. So let's do that. That's for the fan. So this should take it to its limit. This. Uh, This should take it to its limit, but not over it because I'm not going to go over 12 volts. So basically, um, it's going to be current limited by itself. Okay, right. So as it stands, the current's on sort of like full blast, and the volume, the voltage is all the way down. So let's turn this on. DC range. Yeah, you can see that. You should be able to see all of this. Roll my sleeves up because we're in business. And let's give it some, some oomph there. And let's start going up with. A little bit of power. Okay, so this is just opened it up fully for the current. By the time we get on to okay, we got a little bit going through, and I've just started getting a glow in the bulb. I'm glad to see this baby is working. And we're on six volts, the glow is actually on. Let's turn that off, you can see that's on. Oh, you can still see all that. So it's nice to see then. Okay, we've got a slight bit going on with the current limit in there. And that was on full blast as well. So, let's turn that baby down. Okay, well, that does work. I will turn it one more time, just keep a, a check on things. Yeah, that's very, very hot. Now that, uh, that transistor there is amazingly hot. So if I just disconnect that there for a second. And just blow a little bit of uh, air on this baby. Just to cool it down, it'd be nice if we had a better connection there. Okay. Well, that did get really, really warm. I mean, I expected it, I mean, that is really, really warm. So I know that that heat sink is absolutely no good. Um, for that particular transistor we need a we need a bigger heat sink which isn't a biggie and we also need some sort of um some sort of cooling as well so i can put my uh i can connect 24 volts onto this fan and have a fan there for specifically in the case put the cooling even though that fan won't fit into that case i'll have to see if i can find myself a, a little fan but the nice thing about it is everything survived these are both cold. This is the only thing that got hot, and this is still very hot. But the power supply is still working because the fans are and everything else. So that's yeah, so good.
yeah so I'm happy with that that's not just going to go pop and I think it actually current limited itself as I was turning up I saw the current limit light come on but it was on full the actual current uh, allowance is full so I think the volume is turned up full the Lisa didn't just die we'll have to do some checks to see if we actually get 3 amps it didn't look half as bright as it did um, when I was controlling it with a different power source uh, yesterday I think I did a I'm not sure I put a video up of it but I'm sure I did I know I did a video because I just saw one um, and that was using my own little LM 317 and a by uh, and a fast transistor to power this baby and it did very well so anyway I'll have to look into putting a bit of um, thermal coupling paste just to make sure that we are pulling off most of the uh, heat away from that transistor and a bigger heat sink definitely a bigger heat sink is needed for that as big as what I can get that I'm going to fit into the case I'm going to get for it or well, that I've already sent off for it it's on its way to me hopefully anyway cheers for watching guys that's pretty good because it actually worked I'm not sure if I actually got 3 amps through it because it didn't seem as bright as what it did when I was giving 2.5 amps yesterday with a little power supply that I built thanks for watching